Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Monday, everyone. It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. All right, so we're waiting on Crystal. And then we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's see. Okay, I can't get my ring light to go down. She's gonna make it work like this. Crystal, is that you, darling? Enjoy 200 free stars. Okay. All right. So, I'm having an issue with my ring light. Hold on. I don't know. It just fell straight to the ground. So, we're going to make it work. Give me a minute. here you look clear nice and clear you said you have good morning my, morning. my ring light you said you have good morning yeah my ring light fell oh you look yeah i was like what's up with you <laughs> See, hold on one second, y'all. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, this is gonna work mm -hmm. until I what's going. Happy Monday, everybody. You know, things happen. I was not starting my live over because my ring light was tripping. You see my <laughs> hair? It's cutting off my hair, but. Yeah, you look fabulous. I like that tie dye shirt. Sure. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Okay, there we go. I'm I'm better now. <laughs> okay. <Let's> go. <laughs> All right, so happy Monday. <laughs> hope y'all are having a beautiful 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 monday it is a great what, what's the saying mr rogers beautiful day in the neighborhood it's a beautiful day. yeah it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. would you be mine could you be mine would you be my neighbor <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um we're gonna get into it so today we're gonna talk about we're just gonna share our experiences um when we left our job for our side hustle which is now our full-time mm -hmm. full-time uh, our full-time we wouldn't say it's a job but business. it's our full-time business yeah it's our full-time business it's our full -time. so we're gonna share um with you our experiences when to leave and and i'm just gonna be honest with you um my personal advice is if you do have a side hustle you really should just this for you no matter i just want to put that out there because i'm calling me or dming me can i quit my job listen to you and crystal <laughs> and then <laughs> you're trying to figure out how to pay your light bill no right 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 <laughs> see <laughs> So, Crystal, you want to go first? Sure. So, um, my, my, you know, when I okay. did it, um, it was a little bit unconventional. Um, I was stressed out <laughs> and I had been praying for something. And so what I did was um, I moved by faith, but it was also actionable. So I didn't just jump out there all willy nilly, you know, um, and not have something in place. I did have a nice little cushion saved up 
and I was able to move, even though I jumped. Now, um, you got to listen to this. I, even though I jumped, I still had, um, I still had a nice little cushion save, right? Most experts will tell you that you need to have, make sure that you have at least 18, I think 18 to 24 months or two years of uh, money to sustain your household. Um, but, you know, for me, I took that leap. I really didn't look at that cushion. I didn't really look at the experts at, at that time. I, I took that leap of faith and I had some, and I had some income saved, right? Um, I agree totally with Candice, you know, when to leave is the best time for you because even though I had something stocked up, um, it still was the best time for me. And it was being able to get my peace of mind back at that time. So I knew that I couldn't stay in the situation mm -hmm. I was. I knew that the business that I had started was giving me some success. So I knew that, um, you know, it was actually successful. That, um, you know, the experts even say you should have like 100% of success. Uh, I won't say I had 100% of success, but I had some success. And so I, was, I knew that I could ride that cushion out, right? So the, the bottom line is, guys, you got to, um, you got to look at your situation. You got to look at um, can you subst sustain, you know, um, if what you're starting up doesn't sustain, are you willing to take that risk, right? And most entrepreneurs, we risk takers. We, we, I mean, if you got that entrepreneur inside of you, risk is in your DNA. I will tell you that, you know, risk is yeah. in your DNA, but success is also in your DNA too. So um, it really depends on what your situation is. Mine was, um, I need to get out of here quick because this lady crazy, right? <laughs> and so I took, I prayed about it and I took that leap of faith and I was able, have been able to sustain. But you really need to look at your financial situation and look and see if that is um, something that you can, um, you can sustain if you leave your job. And even if your financial situation is not what it should be, how hard is your your drive to be able to make sure that you're able to stay ahead and stay afloat, right? Because you can't quit your job and then be looking at um, cartoons all day, right? If you know your your light bill is going to be paid <laughs> next month, right? You got to make sure that you got enough drive inside of you to go after your business being a success. And success does not always always equate to money, so. You got to make sure that you know that you can you can handle your business. I know that's a lot, but wow! I hope it helped. <laughs> no, that's really no, that's really good. And uh, yeah, those those were really great points for me. And Tabitha Brown said this: it's really hard to be creative in entrepreneurship when you have a child. Yeah. So, you know, Crystal said you have to figure out your own finances. But for me at the time, um, I had a few dollars saved up. I will say that. But it was more so for me, my children come first. You know, I didn't know how anything was going to be what I really, really just said, God, you take you, 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 you lead the way because Cameron and Aiden come first. And they come before anything. Right. And so it was a challenge for me. However, I'm a bit crazy, y'all. I'm a risk taker. You know, I I grew up struggling. And I mean, when I went to college, I struggled. I didn't have certain foods that I wanted to eat. I had to eat like spam. So with that being said, I've always been a hustler. I've always had the mentality of it's going to be stressful but I'm going to do it. So don't listen to me. I'm crazy. <laughs> but, but that's what I was just saying. Like most risk, most entrepreneurs, most, we, we risk takers. Yeah. We will jump out there and be like, you know what? Yeah. If I fail, I fail. But at least but, I, I've tried. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. 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 I said, if I, 
that because it does bring stress because I will mm -hmm. tell y'all I had a lot of sleepless nights. I was like, man, how I'm gonna pay this? How I'm gonna do this? And that's very challenging building a business with two kids when you are when you don't have a job if you don't have any money on you know if you don't have any money coming in your business i wouldn't recommend you do that i say make sure you do have enough money uh in your what is it 401k or your savings account whatever as crystal said so you won't have to worry about how you're gonna do this or how you're gonna do it especially if you have a family now if you're single you by yourself <laughs> You can handle it. <laughs> but nah, for real though. <laughs> yeah. You can be homeless and be nah. single too. <laughs> you said uh, Yeah, you can be homeless and single. Yeah, you can. But yeah. I believe was I free? Yeah, you froze a little. Uh -huh. You said I was free. You good, you good now. Oh, okay. Kyle said it's Kyle said it's a challenge not to make this remove. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. absolutely i agree mm -hmm. yeah so, you know i'm gonna be honest with you either way it go business is business it goes up it goes down it goes mm -hmm. up it goes down so yeah. you're gonna be it's gonna be a roller coaster it's right. gonna be a roller coaster it's just like walmart it's like a uh, a uh, uh, target you know, I worked in retail my entire life, so there's some days the sales are like, "Woo, we did it!" And the next day, you're like, "Man, I need to go out here and pass out some cards or run some type of deal." So, mm -hmm. you know, like Crystal, I believe you have to have that spirit with you. You have to really be a risk taker and know that all is gonna be well because things are gonna go wrong. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's going to be a challenge and let you know and tell you that it's going to be peaches and cream right cream i will be lying to you and crystal too yeah that's why it's called entrepreneurship yeah it's your business it's not anybody else it belongs to you yeah so if you don't put any hours in like, you watching cartoons all day nothing happens right right and you know that you take a risk you take a risk yeah, a lot of people don't realize it, but you actually take a risk on these jobs these days. You know, you really don't know if they're going to be afloat from day to day. And so, um, you know, a lot of people rely on that paycheck, the paycheck, but that paycheck can be eliminated. Okay. Okay. I got a, I got an example. 2020. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people's paycheck was taken away from them, right? And it was based and, and people were thinking that, oh, I'm secure, I'm secure in this. And then during that time that those paychecks was taken away, people found a lot of creative ways to be able to sustain. They were finding, they like they were creating stuff. They had things tapped down, talents and skills inside of them that they were doing to be able, um, they actually became entrepreneurs in 2020. Because that the job, that security, put, yeah. that cushion was taken away from them. So you actually, you know, you take a risk on going to these jobs every day, you know, not knowing if it's going to be sustainable. 2020, I, I always say this, was a teaching, ex it was a teach teachable moment. It showed you what you had inside of you. Mm -hmm. And it sh showed you that the rug could be pulled from underneath you in two point five seconds what we was in the, yeah. we was three months into the year and boom <laughs> it was shut down so yeah. you know yeah yeah take a risk on yourself yeah. you know and and i like what kyle said it's a challenge not to make a desperate move it really is you can, yeah you are yeah. you be you be having yourself stressed out like i was going to that job every day and you be like lord jesus <laughs> please <laughs> And I and I believe that even if you work a job, even if you have a quote unquote good job, you definitely still need a side hustle because of what Crystal just said. You could be on a job 15, 20 years and you could have no money in your savings because you're depending on your check weekly, bi weekly, whatever it is. And you go in there one day and they hand you a pink slip or and then when they're escorting you out, 
they're hiring somebody much younger and paying them less and you work there all, all those years so you know let's be really smart in this season um to have something whether it's uh, extra two hundred dollars a hundred dollars fifty dollars because it is real um in these streets yeah take a take a risk on yourself take a risk yeah. on yourself yeah. yeah. All righty. So we're going to end it for today. And I'm going to read the comments. Let me see. Cal said passive income is key. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. absolutely brother. Yes. Yes. So you all have an amazing Monday. I hope. I know I ain't gonna say I hope I know this blessed your soul today because you stayed on here. <laughs> so I need you to go to the video so I can bless someone else's soul. All right. Carry this carry, <laughs> share this information with someone who's been on the fence about going going out there and taking a leap. You got anything else you want to say? Oh, that's what I was saying. Um, go ahead and share this. Are you am I frozen? I'm frozen now. You was. Okay. I was saying go no. out there and share this live with someone that needs to hear this that's been on the fence about uh, maybe jumping into entrepreneurship. Share it. This might be very beneficial to them. Amen. All right. So y'all go ahead and cash up us so we can buy lunch. We got a lot of people to feed today. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right. <laughs> All right, love you, Kim. <laughs>